So for our next vibrato exercise, we're going to do essentially the same thing we did with fingerboard polishing, except now we're going to do it with a tennis ball in our hand. Okay, so you will need a tennis ball for this. Now, I was somewhat conflicted about whether or not to share this exercise with you, because in some ways I think it's great, because it really gets our motion going freely, um, and it helps us to feel how we're getting the string down by adding weight this way rather than squeezing with our thumb, right? So I really like that. But the problem with this exercise is that I do sometimes start to get a little bit of this rotation motion in. So just be aware that you're really keeping the tennis ball going up and down the string with your hand staying at a relatively stable um, angle rather than having it go like this, okay? That's the one thing that I suggest you look out for. And I would also suggest doing this one with your bow. So maybe make sure your tennis ball is on one string or another, I'll put it on the D, and... You can try it anywhere on the cello you like. Feeling that you're opening from your elbow, you can try big ones to make sure that elbow opening is really happening, maybe a little faster and big. close to as small as a real vibrato, okay? So make sure you're feeling how the string, you get the string down by adding weight from this way. You might feel a little bit of engagement in the muscles in your back and your shoulder. Um, not in a lifted way, of course. Not, your shoulder won't be going up, but you'll feel like you're pulling the cello towards your body this way. Um, and your fingers can stay really soft and relaxed around that ball not squeezing the ball, just gently, gently, gently cupping it. Get yourself a tennis ball. Try that one out. <laughs>